as you start using Erlang and Elixir, you may find the string types a little bit weird, especially if you're on the Erlang side of things. Erlang, if you put something in a single quoted string, it's an atom. So that's a separate topic entirely. See our video on at my video on atoms. If you put something in a double quoted string, you get a car list. So you literally get a list of integers. If you take the string cat, and that really is just the ASCII code for the letters C-A-T, uh, as you can see from this uh, video here. Now, now, in addition, there's another type, the binary, which is caused, created by the uh, double, double angle bracket notation, as we'll see in a moment. And now in Elixir, it takes the Erlang binaries and puts them, uses just a single, as treats them as normal strings, and then treats Erlang strings, the original ones, as what calls char strings with single quotes, uh, trying to normalize it. Now, you might ask, why did Erlang do this, you know, very sort of primitive string handling? Well, real simple reason, really. The people who created Erlang were building telephone switches. And you can imagine that apart from, you know, logging things and it's sort of things of that nature, string handling just wasn't something that they cared much about. I mean, I've never actually built a telephone switch. I don't know what its source code looks like beyond the most general ideas. But you can imagine when you pick the infrastructure to pick up your cell phone and call somebody or a landline back in the day isn't heavy on string handling. You know, it's heavy on number lookup, you know, telephone number lookups and all sorts of things like that, but not as much on the actual being able to work with strings effectively. Elixir has taken great pains to make that better, which is appreciated. Thank you, Jose, Jose, Jose. But the original beam structures are still there. Elixir's improvements are really just all syntax stuff. That is why. I, there's nothing complex about it. It's just it wasn't a high priority for the people who created the language. They were interested in things like reliable systems and scalable systems and you know zero downtime for an application that just didn't need strings very much. So they gave us you know a fairly primitive string handling facility the binaries, which are useful for strings and many other things, are, are more powerful, but sometimes require a little more uh, if you're using on the Erlang side. Anyway, so that's why Erlang and Elixir strings are the way they are. If you uh, found this useful, please like and subscribe below. If you, if you have a question, please uh, leave me a comment below, and uh, you can reach me on Twitter. Thank